hi capricorn how are you guys i hope that you're all doing well please stay safe and be careful and just know that i send you all much love and light and i just want to say thank you for being here with me if it's your first time to my channel my name is lynn and this is passionate heart tarot thank you so much for clicking on my video we're going to take a look and see what is going to happen in your love life in june let's see what spirit shows us what messages come through capricorn before I begin your reading, I just want to take a moment to call on spirit. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on for June there's a lot of happiness that is here that's just waiting to come in if you let it come in though capricorn that's the thing i see a lot of hesitancy a lot of resistance or this could be you know what your person is going through so capricorn energy is here you might be dealing with another capricorn aquarius and pisces energy is here as well so same thing um you might have that in your chart or you could be dealing with someone that does ultimately i see it being a very happy month for you guys there's a lot of healing that's here maybe even an apology that someone's gonna make to you that you need to hear well there's a lot it's funny because there's a lot of energy of pushing away Pushing away romantic pursuits is really what this energy is. So I wonder for those of you that are dating around, getting to know people, if you have received a lot of unwanted attention, like you're looking for something specific. And although you're getting attention from others, I mean, I see it. I wonder if you guys recognize how well you're coming across this month I, and i say that because i see the energy of wanting to talk to you wanting to pursue you wanting to get to know you there's a lot of romance in this card there's also a lot of passion i see the way that you're coming across to others is someone who really truly is marriage material so if you guys are in a space where you feel kind of down, if you let things from the past pull you back from the past and keep you there, I'm here to pull you out of that energy because I want you to know the way that I can see you shine. Even if you don't see it right now, if you let yourself release, <clears throat> excuse me, if you let yourself release whatever this is that keeps pulling you back, I wonder what you guys have gone through and whether or not this is all romantic. Um, it's definitely demons, you know, something that haunts you, something that's there that can be let go of. It can be whatever that is, those thoughts, those habits, toxicity, and I see you doing it. I see you doing it. Maybe not at first, but maybe if you let the message sink in, you'll be relieved. You'll be so relieved. So that's why I want you to know how you do come across, especially to those of you. It doesn't really matter whether you're single or not, because you come across this way anyway. It's someone who is absolutely beautiful. The star is almost unobtainable because it's like a highest wish, wishing for a chance, wishing to be able to make it theirs because it shines so bright, it's so positive, it's love, it's light, it's beauty. So just know the way that you come across is someone who's an amazing catch that they would very much like to get to know um, and to be a part of your life. Uh, the thought of you opening up to them would be absolutely amazing. 
So this is how someone feels about you. This is the way that you come across, even if you are in the energy of letting something from the past pull you back. You don't have to let it because if if you allow yourself, there's a there is a very beautiful connection that wants to come in. It could even be with a person that you're already involved with and things from the past keep pulling you back to a bad place. Or it could very well be what you've gone through in life and in your love life that makes you um, very hesitant about opening up, questioning someone's sincerity when it comes to you. So that's why I want you to know that, you know, the way that they do look at you and it's just like you shine, you have so much inner and outer beauty. They're very attracted to you, like on many different levels. The star is like a total wish. So it's like a mind, body and soul attraction with with thoughts of where it could really go and what the two of you could really make together. This person looks at you as someone that is marriage material would make an amazing partner so it's important that you guys allow yourself to heal for because and i say that because that's what i can see the way that you think about something that hurt you but you're thinking about it a lot more than is healthy I don't take this energy lightly for whatever this is that you've gone through though. But what I can see spiritually is that it's just hurting you over and over and over and over and over and over. That's why there's 10 swords in this person's back because it's something that is done. It's over. It's complete. Thinking about it, you're not learning anything else. You're really only hurting yourself. So it's important for you to maybe even forgive yourself for something because it's like the energy of an apology. That's what these swords represent, you know, wishing to take something back to say something. So it could very well be the energy that you have and something that you keep beating yourself up about that you need to forgive yourself so that's the energy that's here. So it's important for you to just think about those things um, because once you identify it, you'll, you'll heal like quickly from it. I don't take this lightly, okay? That's what I want you to know is I know how deep this goes. But I also know that healing can come in quickly through recognition and not always suppressing something. So don't think that I don't understand what that is that you're holding on to because for some of you, it, it's not all romantic energy. But what I can see is that it's no longer serving you. And it's, it's such a stark contrast in energies from what you perceive is around you and what's actually around you. That's the thing about it. Opening yourself up to it, letting yourself feel it, not being um, hesitant about it because you have a lot of love. You're giving out so much love and light, so you're attracting that to you. It's it's very beautiful. So I know that there's a special connection that's either here with those of you that are involved with someone and those of you that are single, something that you've wished for as well wants to come in. So let's look even further into this Aquarius energy because it's something that's our it's destiny something that when you meet this person they'll seem very familiar to you because they are it's something that the two of you wrote that you wanted to have together do you see this is like the preparation on the other side of like getting the connection ready getting you aligned to sync up with this person so you're on the same vibration so you can connect you see this mother goddess she has those jugs in her hand like to fill two cups you know a kindred spirit to come into your life that's what all of that energy is and it's very positive it's very beautiful and it's important for you to allow yourself to let it come in Allow yourself to forgive whatever this is that you're holding on to, even if it's forgiving yourself. Because this is very fast moving, rapid, strong energy. Do you see it's like whizzing through the air energetically, emotion, passion, chemistry, 
it comes in reverse because you're not quite aligned with it once you release then this energy will flow into your life don't think that you're doing anything wrong though just by even thinking about something that you that hurts you that you want to let go of you've already started the healing process that's what i want you to know it's not like this long drawn out thing once you think about it and and feel it and tell yourself that that's something that you've gone through but it doesn't define you you will let so much happiness into your life that really is like banging banging at the door to come in all right capricorn i want to look at this star card here So there's just so much emphasis here on um, letting your guard down. You know, that's that's this energy here because it's just over and over. Do you see that this is the pursuing and this is it coming in and then that person's closed off. So in reverse, it's like you have to let your guard down. Scorpio's energy is here as well. You have to change this mindset, whoever this is, because they have a mindset of thinking like, everyone's the same nothing's going to change everything's always going to be as it was but that's not true what keeps you in that energy is your thought process and you'll find that when you can learn to forgive whatever this is a lot of it is even yourself if you learn to forgive and not look at your life as having made mistakes look at it as experiences something very special is waiting to come in and this is a romantic reading so this is a person that you've longed for a connection that you've longed for although it's a romantic reading it still speaks to something that you've wanted for a long time and it's it's right at the door so it's important for you to just try to switch your mindset around and get out of this mindset where you feel like you have to be two steps ahead to prevent something bad from happening to you. Because you're not preventing anything at all. What you're doing is like hurting yourself without even realizing that you are. So there's so much energy here of you needing to let your guard down, open yourself up when it comes to love and romance. Because if you do, I see how happy you'll be. That's why I keep stressing the point because I see how happy you'll be because I see the way you come across to others and how they look at you like something so precious. Do you know what I mean? The star is like, it's a precious jewel. And to be able to have a connection with someone like that, it's it's priceless. That's how, That's how you are looked at. Even if you don't realize that, I'm telling you that you are. So it's important for you to just think about it. All right, Capricorn. So there, there's a lot of beauty that that's waiting to come through. And, and the important thing to know is like, I see you guys doing a lot of healing. I see the energy of letting your guard down. All right, so this is good. That's what I can see for you guys coming in. But moreover, it's something that's absolutely beautiful. When you meet this person, you're going to feel like you've known them for a long time. Because that's like your souls remembering the connection, remembering what you've had together and kind of recalling like, you know, when you meet this person, a thought might come into your mind like that you are going to achieve a major major milestone with them like that's gonna be my spouse or that's gonna be the mother or father of my children that's what this energy here is and just listen to it when you meet them and you have that thought it comes from a very real place because it's like you recall your chart and something that's destined to happen with this person and if you're already involved with them it can go even to another level of romance and happiness don't think that it's seen the peak yet even if you guys have been together for a long time and maybe gone through a lot together and there's been a lot of pain toxicity in that connection but you still decide to stay 
just know that it hasn't reached its peak and it too is something that can go to another level of joy and fulfillment so that's what i can see for you guys all right capricorn so just know that i send you all much love and light that's the message that i have for you guys for june please give this video a thumbs up and comment and share if you haven't already um subscribe i love you guys and i will talk to you soon